So my water here is leaking, which is not ideal. So I'm thinking I need to replace this valve. So I just turn off the main. Uh oh, this is the main. So there's no way to turn off the water here. So if I cut that and take this and stick that on, the water's going to have to be on while I'm doing it. Right? Okay. First, I made this so I can stick this on and it's got two threaded spots. This is actually a, a little bit smaller valve than the one here. Uh, but I happen to, this is all stuff I happen to have. So I'm just using it. This is the right size for there. And then I had this thing and then I have a smaller thing that threads into the same thing that fits this. So that means I can glue this on and then I've got two different spots that I could unscrew stuff to change things in the future, which means I won't have to cut something. So that that's an improvement. Now, what do I do? to turn off the water or do I just let it squirt? Well, there's a combination of two things. All right, first. So here's where it comes out and there's the water tank. And I've constructed a special thing to stick down in there and hopefully plug up the hole that comes into the pipe to go here. Here's the thing. What does it do? I didn't say it was fancy. <laughs> Okay, I'm hoping that I can take the stick, shove this plastic bag down to the bottom, turn the water on this plastic bag will get sucked and, you know, plug up the water. Now it's probably not going to get a perfect seal, so some water is going to be coming. So if I can cut off like most of the water supply, then I can cut this and, you know, a little water will dribble on out. Not a big deal. But then I need to glue this on and that needs to be dry. So what I'm thinking is I stick this on the pipe just far enough that it's airtight, right? And I should still be able to stick it further on past the point where it's, it's well, watertight. Um, and if I leave the thing open, it won't have any water pressure. So it'll just have to be watertight with no pressure. So I, I get it on as far as I can, or just as far as I need to, to get it so no water's leaking out here. And then, I put the glue around there and get it in as good as I can then shove the thing the rest of the way on and then if I'm lucky you know half of it will be glued which will be enough it's totally totally enough and Bob's your okay before I do anything I need to sand around here and just get this piece of pipe smoothed out oh crap there's concrete right up against it all right I need to chisel out a, just a little bit of concrete under there yeah and smooth out that. Oh, I think that's pretty clear. That's pretty. Okay, got an angle grinder to cut. Got glue. Stick that sucker on. Uh, I think I just need to go plug it up. Hope I can plug it up pretty well. And then go for it. Okay, turn that on when I say. Okay. I'm going to try to plug this up. Okay, turn it on. Okay. Tell him when you can. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of. It's blocking him. Okay, good. Oh, this thing is floating. Stop floating. All right, it looks like that's about as much as we're going to plug it up. It's not bad. Let's move quickly and we won't lose too much water. Uh, Turn off. Now, leave it on. I'm just going to start. Okay. 
But everyone has to get out of here because I'm going to do some loud stuff. And once I start this, I cannot stop it. I can't get this thing in there. Ah! Oh, man. Okay. Let's try getting this off. No turning back now. Oh, this won't reach the bottom. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not bad. I cut on, yeah, I cut there. We actually saved a bit more pipe than I thought we were going to. Okay, now I gotta get this dry. Go the other way. Okay, hopefully the water's Hopefully no water's coming out here. If I can get that dry and get the glue around it, we'll be good. We need a little bit of cloth something to get under there and dry it. Let's see if we can find something. Very wet. I don't think there's any water up there. Good luck. I can get the glue all the way around. Yeah, I gotta get the glue. Oh god, these things are so squishy. The glue brush thing, whatever you call it. Alright. Oh, get a bucket! Duh, I should have had a bucket here the whole time. I mean, we're not losing that much water anyway. But, um, and it did rain last night, so we did get a bunch of water. Alright. Now we gotta wait like 15 minutes for that glue to <laughs> uh, be strong enough. This is not particularly high pressure. So. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go pull the thing out. Let me know if that starts leaking. Oh, okay. Oh, don't crack your lid, Jamie. Mmm. Oh, man. Got a little crack. Yeah. Well. How are we doing? No leaks. No, no wetness back here. It would be back here if it was leaking. <sighs> what? A leak right there. That looks like it's coming out of the threads though. Although this does stick out further than it did before, so I'm gonna have to make sure kids are, you know, 
careful not to smash it, snap it off or anything. The wall does slope here, so it's not like they can walk up to it. So you're not going to hit it running around the corner or anything, but yeah. All right, I think it's fine. Hey, you want some water? <laughs> yeah, pretty good, eh? <laughs> well, what's that? You want to wash your hands? Yeah. All right, you can be the first user of the new water. Not too much. Is that good? I like your washing hands technique. <laughs> Just like this, is that what you do? Oh wait, there is one more thing, my shower attachment. This used to just fit right inside the, the bigger valve. So this, this is the same size fitting as that one. So I just need a short piece of pipe, which I have stick in there. And this will go on. All right. Good. I'm not even going to glue that in. The shower doesn't need to be... Well, I need to be able to take it off because I don't always need... Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Marvelous. Good stuff. And hopefully this comes off easily. Yeah. Well, I always waste a little bit of water when I take it off. 